Okay, we're working on a Leviton 50 amp, they call it a stove or RV. See, it's 50 amp, 125, 250, 30 amp, 125, 250. So, the strain relief is supposed to be attached right here, but instead you can see it's floppy. So we're gonna take it apart, we're gonna unscrew these two screws right here, and I'll show you what we find. Okay, so when I opened it up, there's a neutral wire with exposed wires. There's a hot wire. Chucky! Look at all these exposed wires. So that little hot could have touched that one. This is all messed up. So I'm gonna cut it here and I'm gonna strip it back and start over. The Leviton's pretty smart. On the back, it says strip gauge. So the green is that long, the white, the neutral, and the hot. So that's a really nice strip gauge. Okay, so I cut all the ends as to the diagram that we showed you earlier on the back. And now I'm just pushing them in one at a time. I started with the shortest one, the neutral, and then the two hots, and then I'll put the ground in. So now I got them all in and that's what's going to hold them in and I'm just going to check the tightness to see if any of them loosen and I'm going to snug them up real tight. If you have a bad connection, you'll get arcing and that will cause resistance and that will cause big problems. Okay, we had to reroute the ground. I had it on this side so you need to make sure that they're all coming out at the same distance. So I pulled it all out. So you've got a hot a hot and then make sure that your ground is routed the right way. So here's another important part. This was the strain relief that was in there. There's different ways to put this in and sometimes according to the manufacturer's instructions you may or may not use it. So when this was in there, this actually wouldn't have closed because it would have been too high. So this was never installed properly okay so I put the strain relief back in there because there was no strain relief so I torqued the screws down now I'm gonna squash this round cable and it should be uh, pretty firm so I'm just gonna gently tighten these up alternating back and forth okay so that's what it should look like squinching down on that it's flattened it down a little bit these are in very tight. It's got a nice firm connection. Here's the hinged ends. Those look pretty good. The ground has kind of got a bent and a crack in it. These uh, will kind of find their own place, but this is just a redo of an old plug. So one of the secrets is uh, I did take a look at this and it is wired right, but if you're a professional homeowner, you turn off all the breakers on whatever you're plugging in anytime you do a repair and then turn on the cheapest thing like your lights first wait 60 seconds make sure they didn't blow up then turn on the next thing what you turn on last is your refrigeration your air conditioners your freezers anything that would be really expensive to repair it's michael dillon appreciate the thumbs up now is time to smash now is time to smash the thumbs up. Appreciate subscribes. Trying to get to uh, 2,000 subscribers. So thanks for your help.